Next on Sal Show, we have something very different and very entertaining. And it's with Sal Khan and with his friend, a Paul McCartney look-alike and impersonator. And let's watch them. Welcome to Sal Show. My name is Abdullah Sharavi Al Shamsi bin Hindi. I'm first time here on Sal Show co hosting Sal Show with my friend Mr. Ball McCartney. I can't say I can't pronounce it. Oh. You, you say it. Okay. My name is Abdullah Abella Sharavi Shalavi Al Shamsi Al Shamsi Bin Hindi. Bin Hindi. Yeah. Welcome back. You got it. You got it. And Mr. Ball, you are... That's Paul. That's oh, Paul. Sorry. Ball. It's... Pup. Pup. That's it. Bub. Bub. Watch it there. Bub. Ball. We don't have a word after the Q R before the Q. What is called? B? Okay. You say B, Q, R, S, T. We don't have Let's that word in our dictionary. So I'm Ball, Ball, ball. Do like we get all the McCartney in or? Is McCartney, yeah. Okay. And I like a, if, if we want to see like a Bollies. <laughs> Bollies will be what this, uh, the law people, what do you call them? Bollies? Yeah. Police? Exactly. Okay. But we don't say, we say well, We call them Bobbies where I am. Okay. So. We want to go to the show. Let's start with. I'm Mike Miller for One Street Dream, the uh, Paul Mc Ball McCartney experience. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from, anyway? Oh, I am from Kuwait, thanks to Baba Bush. He freed our country from Saddam. Barbara Bush? Baba, Baba. Oh, Baba? Ba father, Father Bush. Baba. Okay. What do you call it here? Ba what do you call your father? Dada? Dada. Papa? Baba. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sure. We all want to make money. You want to make money? Yeah. You come to Kuwait. That's what I have to do to make it, huh? Yeah. That's the answer? Yeah. Middle East. You hear that, the America? Market. Mid market. Okay. Well, that was great. I want to tell you something. About year 2005, the producer of this show, Salah and uh, he taped him about five years back. Very, very good with you. I want to add to that. I thought the producer of the show was Sal. Sal, yeah, I see him. Sal here. They call him Sal. His real name is Salahuddin. And he worked How for me. How do you me. get Sal out of that? <laughs> because the first three letters. Oh, okay. All because right. he worked for me 1967 in Kuwait. He worked for my hotel for about 15 years. I see. He was, I, I hired him. I still own him. You, you know that? You own him? Yeah, I own him oh, still. Okay. Mean, I don't mean own him, like. Uh, can I ask you a question? Sure. Do you have slavery in your country still? No, 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 no. In olden days, remember when you used to have a slavery in America, but it's no more, they have a freedom. They have a freedom. But they work for me, so they have to abide by my rules. So it's not slavery. We own them. I see. Understand? No. No? Okay. No. <laughs> in fact, I was going to ask you, we can go in business yeah. together. Because I went to Boston University. Yeah. I got my business degree from there. Really? Yeah. Well, how about that? Yeah. I went to school in my country, Kuwait. Uh -huh. But trick of the trade, you are a good performer, that you are not a good businessman. Oh, oh. My cousin Abdul Hamid, what he did, he's a comedian. I see. The first time he wants to sell the, his CDs, what do you call it, DVDs? Uh, if it's got pictures on it, yeah. Uh, yeah. DVD. It's called the video, I think, huh? Video, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> what he did in Kuwait, he bought himself one million copies. Well, there you go. That way and you can say it. it's a million dollars. He gave it to the poor people. Isn't that? And he sold 20 million copies. I'm going to cry. That's just he, he sold 20 million copies. The rating goes up. That's the trick of the trade ah. of the business. 
You got to get the get the ball rolling yourself, or get the paw rolling yeah. yourself. That's what we so are going to do. So when you say you. a word that begins with a B, what's it sound like? B. So well, if P is B, like you say, you were saying ball <laughs> McCartney. So say how would you say say uh, baby? Baby. Oh, so it's bees. Only the words, be, other words. They're, they're used for... Other one is kind of a forbidden word for us. Oh. You know why? Is it? You know why it's forbidden? I can tell you. Tell me. Tell us. Okay, I tell all the audience. The B word is a forbidden food. Bork. That's not what I thought you were going to say. Yeah. <laughs> so what I'm going to say. Yeah. Bork? Yes, bork. 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 Forbidden what? food. What is bork? Bork chops. You eat bork chops? No. Bork? Yes, you bork. got it now. <laughs> That's why it's forbidden. So we took it off our whole dictionary. Uh, you have a dictionary? Yeah. I love a dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> what business exactly are you in? Oh, I am into so many businesses, I can't even explain how many business I have. Mostly it's the hookah business. The hooker? No, 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 no. What? Hookah. The Everybody what? misunderstands things. It's a hooker business. It's a hookah you smoke with the water pipe. That's the <laughs> largest business in the world. Is it really? In the yeah. world? In the world. Yeah. I will tell you a story. Okay. Whenever I'm on the street, a lot of prostitute, they come to me, they say, hey, Sheik, what business you are in? Diamond, jewels, oil? <laughs> and I say, no, 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 no. I'm into That's hookah. That's what I would say. I say, hookah business. I say, oh, I will work for you. There you go. So I made a video on that. And let's look at that video now. Oh, we can look at that? You can look at that. Let's she see thought it. I'm a prostitute business, which in our country we say charmut business. It's not a Sharmut business. Sharmut? Sharmut. It's a prostitution. Okay. So it's a... I mean, you will look at the video. Let's look at the video now. I can't wait. I cannot shake hands with the woman. I don't know because we are not properly introduced, and uh, I cannot talk to a woman who I don't know because it's against my religion. Okay, I can understand that. What if I go and get someone to introduce me to you? Then will that be okay? Oh, well, that is a different story. If uh, you are properly introduced to me. Then it's a no problem, I can talk to you. Okay, I'll be right back. Thank you. Oh, uh, sure, if we can. See, there's a guy over there yeah. that I would like you to introduce me to. That guy over there? Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't even know him. Okay, well, what if I paid you $20? $20 mm -hmm. just to say, introduce you to him? Mm-hmm. Gladly. Thank Let's you. Let's go after you. Hi, there. Hi. Hi, I'm Robin. My name is Abdullah Sharavi Al Shamsi. Bin Hindi. Can you say that again, please? My name is Abdullah Sharavi Al Shamsi Bin Hindi. 
Okay, uh, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine. This is Candace. She wanted Candace. to meet you. Hi. Nice Hi. to meet you. Now we are properly introduced. Nice to so meet you. So you want to sit down here? Sure. And we can talk? Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Nice sir. to meet you. Take care now. Bye. Bye. So what can I do for you? You go to school here? You look like a teenage girl. Well, I'm actually over 21 and I finished school four years ago. Wow, you must go to, you must go to college now, huh? Yeah. Ah, so what can I do for you? Well, tell me about yourself. About myself, you want to know? Yeah, I mean, what do you do? I bet you're in the oil business or the diamond and gold business. Uh, I am in all the businesses. Uh -huh. Originally, I come from Kuwait. Thanks to Baba Bush, Father Bush, he liberated my country from Saddam. And whenever we say Kuwait, Father Bush, he's the father of the nation now. So beside my other businesses, I would say my main business is a hookah business. Oh, that's great. I'm an expert in this business. Really? Yep, I'm a hooker. Oh, no, 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 no. You did not understand. It's a hookah business. You know, the men, they smoke. Oh, well, I could do that. Oh. Oh, you're talking the charmut business, prostitution. Yeah. Only the men work for me all over the world. Oh, okay. So you're saying you're only into the male hooker business. Mm -hmm. Well, let me tell you something. If you include females, your business would double like that. Like that? Mm -hmm. You still did not get it. I told you this is not a Sharmut business. Means we call it an Arabic Sharmut. In fact, this is a you how do you call it? Prostitution. So it's not a prostitution, a hooker. You said hooker, right? Mm -hmm. It's not a hooker. It's a hooker. H o o k a h, and it's a water pipe. Let me show you the picture. See this? This is the picture of hookah. And it's a water here, and the people put tobacco, fire, and the pipe, they smoke it. And it's a called a hubble bubble, or shisha, a hookah. So that's our business. I think you did not understand me. This is not what you think. So that's the hookah business, not the uh, what you think it is. Okay, well, sorry for the under misunderstanding. Um, actually, can you help me out? Um, can you give me $50? Because I had to pay that guy over there for just to talk to you. I don't believe that you paid the guy to introduce to me. I'm flattered. So, you spent $50 just to talk to me? Yeah, so you can give me the $50? Sure. Hey. Happy Thank now? Mm -hmm. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Oh, and if you change your mind, here's my information. Oh. oh it doesn't say hooker here. Yeah. It says uh, escort, escort service? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, so this is the escort service. Okay. So whenever you need an escort, nice give meeting me a you. call. Nice meeting you, Candice. Nice meeting you. Waste of time. Why is she the real hooker? <laughs> well, that was worth the wait. <laughs> <laughs> that was something. That was something. You see that? Yeah. I mean, uh, that's what happens to me all the time. You poor fellow, you. Yeah, I mean, I'm a victim in, the, in your own country here. Uh, in my country, my cousin is from royal family. The, they rule the country. Yeah. I own a lot of business there. Everybody knows me there. My wife, my fifth wife. It's uh, like fifth? Fifth, fifth wife. Fifth? People misunderstand. They say, they think, oh, is this your daughter? She's not my daughter. She's my fifth wife, I tell them. She's a lot younger than you? 
or younger because I'm still young. I can have seven wives, but I have five now. Five. I can handle five. Can, can, can you name them all? Oh, yeah, Sakina, Zarina, You make it up something as he goes yeah. along. <laughs> oh, I, I named them. Nobody would know what the name is. You yeah. know? You just, so how many, I assume you have children? Oh. How many? Children, let me see. Abdelani, Jamdan, Dambavanda, Khadab, Khadab, Soro, Hoksa, Sapa, Sapa. Eighteen. Eighteen? Five wives, eighteen children. Three from each or 17 from one and or what? No, 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 no. It's uh, <laughs> some have four, some three, some two. Where are know. they now? They Sorry. are all in Kuwait studying. They are? Yeah. They, uh -huh. they have their own business also, but they go to school there. Is that oh. good enough? Yeah. <laughs> in Kuwait, we have a peaceful life, very happy life. People have no trouble, no crime. You have nightclubs there, big hotels, places to uh, dance, have a good time, or what's happening o over there? Okay, we have, you don't have in this country, Seven Star Hotel. That's the only hotel Seven Star is in the Middle East, in Abu wow. Dhabi. I think we go to five here. You got five stars. But there is $22,000 a night, one room. Can you imagine what that? What kind of a room is it? Oh, it's like a royal family, royal treatment. You have a personal butler there. I see. Personal maid there. Wow. And uh, they really welcome you there like a... Uh, I don't know if you ever heard of Burj Tower in Abu Dhabi. I have been there many times. <laughs> You've never been there? How oh, many times I've oh, never okay. been there. No. Oh, okay. You must go there. We make your first concert there. Good? I think his music I is take well all known over there too. I will yeah. invest the money. I'll buy the first one million copies, and we'll sell five million, and we split two million, two million. We can do that. Yeah, okay. but you have to sign a contract with me. Okay. Uh, okay. Why do you have a tire on your head? <laughs> this is not a tire. You're not disrespecting anybody. It looks like a tire. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like a two pieces, see? Oh, I see. And yeah, yeah. It keeps everything intact. You know, we wear this, and when it comes to the sandstorm, so we can cover like this. You know? Yeah. So, means that the sand doesn't go in our nose. We don't breathe yeah. in. You get a lot of sandstorms. A lot of sandstorms. Yeah. Here you have a snowstorm. We have a sandstorm in our country. Yeah. So it keeps us good and keeps us cool in summer. From the sun, right? I, yeah, I from the sun. That? Yeah. Because uh, we still wear a little hat under this. It's like a yamaki, Jewish yamaki. Uh huh. But it has holes in it, so it breathes, yamaki. air can breathe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so poor English, you know. So we come Not from both way. corners of the earth, and we're meeting here in Malden, and. Uh, we had a nice rock and roll party. We hope you guys enjoyed it out there. How about you? I enjoyed it. Uh, I really enjoyed hosting the show. Next time I'll bring my wife here ah. to host the show. I'll put it there for waste yeah. of time. And uh, she will wear, come in the burqa. You know burqa? Uh, yeah. They're covered up like uh -huh. this. She will host the show. Well, because I'll... she cannot show her face to the people. I see. You know? So, so we, we just need a little sandstorm in here to kind so of... So we'll make little sandstorm yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. And, uh, I'll just do, you know, yeah. kind of do that or something. So that's all the time we have for this time to host the sale show. I hope you people enjoy the show as I enjoyed hosting the show. And uh, remember, sale show is your show. If you want to be on sale show, contact sale at ashianavideos at gmail.com. I, I had a ball here. Th this was a lot of fun. And um, again, you could keep uh, tabs on where the One Sweet Dream is performing. You could go to macatribute.com. That's M A C C A T R I B U T E dot com. Follow us around. We'll be back here and we'll be back in uh, Liverpool. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Thank you, Tom. Ball. It was very, very nice meeting you. You too. And I hope I see you again sometime. In Kuwait. Well. Yeah, we, we don't okay. yeah, like this, 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 this. They don't leave the hand alone. <laughs> <laughs> Sal, you're a funny guy, man. He's a good actor, and um, 
I seen that clip uh, years ago, a few years ago, and um, it's just as funny. And I I like the acting and the humor. Yeah, you look like that wrestler Iron Sheik with the. Uh, <laughs> 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 nice going, Sal, and um, and also that actress who was a um a crew. She worked um crew at MATV at one point. Her name is Julie Di Stefano, and a good actress. I've seen her in other things, and as the hooker, she, she looked really good and did and acted well. Yeah. What do you think? I enjoyed it. I find Hook is very creepy, but I, you know, I liked her. Yeah. Only mind is she came up and wanted to shake my hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and I want to see her in films and stuff and get her into acting. And in real life, she's the complete opposite of that character. That's what's oh, amazing. Don't say. What's she very, like? Very, very quiet and uh, reserved. Well, folks, it looks like we're out of time. I'm Jake Vaughn, and I thank you folks out there in TV land for staring at us. And you know I love it, and I love you. That was very nice. Take care. Thank you for watching, and hope to see you next time. In fact, we will see you next time. <laughs>